Thus says the Lord, I will take from your bodies your stony hearts and give you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you. You will be my people, and I will be your God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We offer Mass today for Monica Escudero. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Set our hearts aflame, O Lord. With the spirit of your charity, we pray that we may always think thoughts worthy and pleasing to your majesty and love you sincerely in our brothers and sisters. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, comp compassionate, forgiving one another, as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of God, be beloved children, and live in love. As Christ loved us and handed himself over us, as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. Immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be mentioned among you. As is fitting among holy ones, no obscenity or silly or suggestive talk, which is out of place, but instead thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no immoral or impure or greedy person that is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments, for because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. So do not be associated with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the world. Live as the children of light. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Behave like a God as his every dear children. A God as his very dear children. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, insolent but delights in the law of the Lord and may meditates on his law day and night. Behave like God as his very dear children. He is like a tree planted near running water that is its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prosper. Behave like God as his very dear children. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like a chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. 
behave like a god as his very dear children Consecrate us in the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath. And a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, Ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Laws have their place, laws are good things, but laws are not the end in and of themselves. Laws are a means to an end. They are a guide to us on our journey. Jesus cures a woman on the Sabbath, and he's criticized for having done such a miraculous good deed on the Sabbath. The people who criticize him are following the law as an end. They think that that salvation is found in the law itself. The laws are simply a guide. In their current state, they are slaves to the law. They are not free children of God. They are merely slaves. To criticize that a miraculous good deed would be done on the Sabbath is really absurd when we think about it. Could you imagine if a priest said, it's the Sabbath day, I refuse to do work, and there would be no Sunday Masses? We miss the point when we follow the law as an end of itself. The law is a guide on our journey, and our journey is a journey of encounter with Christ. God is love, and it is that love that we seek to encounter in the person of Jesus Christ. And that is our journey in this life, is to to go back to Christ, to return to God, union with the Christ and the Father and the Spirit for all eternity. That is what we are called to. We are not slaves of the law. We are friends of God and a God that we seek to encounter in every day and every moment of our lives and unfiltered for all eternity.
gathered here, dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption. Let us therefore ask Almighty God that the whole world may be watered from these springs of all blessing and life. For all who have vowed themselves to God, that with his help they may faithfully keep to their resolve, let us pray to the Lord. For peace among nations that delivered from all turmoil, the peoples may serve God in freedom of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. For the elderly who suffer from isolation or sickness, that they may be strengthened by our love of them as brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. For ourselves gathered here, that as God does not cease to sustain us with the things of this life, we may know how to use them in such a way that they we may hold even now to the things that endure forever. Let us pray to the Lord. For Father Av and Mary Alice, that they may continue to know God's healing touch and continue to be restored to full health, we pray to the Lord. For Monica Escudero, for whom we may offer this Mass, we pray to the Lord. May your mercy, we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry to you, so that, they, so that what they seek at your prompting they may obtain by your ready generosity, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify these gifts in your mercy, O Lord, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice. Grant, we pray, that we may extend your charity to all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you.
you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life, for you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people, Israel, through the desert. Now, as your church makes her pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and saints, we too sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, and Philippe, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the 
Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So faith, hope, and charity remain, these three, but the greatest of these is charity.
grace of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, on those you have replenished with the one bread of heaven. And refresh us, we pray, with the delights of perfect charity, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.